Russia's first moon mission in almost 50 years has crashed on the moon after an incident during pre-landing maneuvers. The Russian space agency, uh, Roskomos, said communication with Luna 25 was lost at 2.57 p.m. local time on Saturday. According to preliminary findings, the lander has ceased to exist following a collision with the moon's surface. The space agency also noted that an investigation would be launched into the causes of the crash. With Luna 25, Moscow had hoped to build on the legacy of its Soviet-era lunar program, marking a return to independent lunar exploration and the phase of growing isolation from West. Nigerians have been taxed on the need to protect and preserve their culture for generations yet unborn. This came to the fore at the grand finale of the 2023 annual Oshun Shubo Festival. TVC News correspondent Rafi Hamid reports. Oshun, an annual festival in Oshubo, usually in the month of August. The festival is believed to have a history of more than 700 years. It is a 14-day festival, which begins with the traditional cleansing of Oshobo, known as Iwopopo, lighting of 500-year-old 16-point lamb, known as Atupolo Jumeri Dindogun, among others. Here is the grand finale of this year's celebration of the festival. Commercial activities are at its peak as people use the opportunity to buy a number of items including beats. <laughs> At about 11 o'clock in the morning, the votary maid stepped out of the palace, accompanied by Oshun worshippers and thousands of people. On her way to the group, she made stop over to pay homages to some ancestral compounds, as tradition demands. She arrived at the grove after about an hour. Then follows the arrival of the Atauja of Oshobo land, Obajimo Lanipoko, his wives, chiefs, among others. He used the occasion to pray for the state and Nigeria at large. The state governor also attended the festival for the first time. He came alongside some members of his cabinet. A renowned cultural enthusiast, Nikke Okundai, speaks on why the annual celebration attracts both local and foreign tourists. It's here. They are coming from Brazil, from different parts of the... They come here to solve their problem. So it's helping to solve everybody's problem. At least nobody is hungry. No war. We celebrate our soon because we want our soon to help and solve everybody's problem. If you need money, you come here. If you need husband, you come here. If you need long life, good health, anything you want, you come here and then you get it. This is Thanksgiving Festival. We thank for our blessing, for our protection. If not for you, make sure we are not kidnapped. Make sure peace reigns in this city, in this state, in this country. And that's why we come here to say thank you. And it was for more. The Araba of Oshubu land, I chief Ifaime Lebuiba, has this message for the people on their culture and tradition. My advice to our people is not to abandon our culture. Especially Yoruba people. There's no identification if we don't do our tradition and culture. The event, which featured a lot of side attractions, also had in attendance the area of Kakam for Yoruba land, Chief Ghani Adam, and many foreign tourists, including Daniela, who came from Belgium to witness the festival. It, the, uh, the enthusiasm is uh, really catching. That I was to the greatest festival I've ever been. How long have you been coming to Nigeria? Oh, like uh, twice a year. My daughter lives here. And this is the sixth time I come. While the celebration is underway, some are here to fetch from the river. 
Addressing journalists at a program shortly after the festival, Chief Ghani Adam emphasized the need for religious tolerance. I think it's time for us to evaluate the situation being leading to various cases of religious crisis and intolerance across the region. From time in memorial, religion has been a major tool for preaching the gospel of peace, tolerance, and fear of God. In those days, both Muslim and Christians and the traditional belief live in peaceful peace and harmony without fear and threats. Oshoshogo Sacred Grove is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and tourists believe giving the site a first lift is necessary, considering its importance. Rafi Hamid, TVC News. Shoma.